So the emerging trends in luxury travel um, have got to be the, the wellness tourism angle. Um, wellness tourism now is, a, is an absolute huge business, uh, global business. And uh, clearly in, in luxury, we're seeing that more and more hotels um, are building spas or wellness centers. So where before it was purely spas, so maybe a few treatment rooms, um, like in this hotel, um, they're actually building wellness centers with uh, hydrotherapy pools, fitness centers. So it's really moving it from kind of the luxury spa element to the wellness element where it's more encompassing. People can take their kind of fitness, their sport with them, but as well enjoy a treatment, but also enjoy the sort of um, benefits of hydrotherapy pools or, or areas like that. And then even through to cuisine, where a lot of hotels now are offering dedicated menus for people looking for a more healthy lifestyle. Well, clearly, I think, you know, um, people are still careful about what they spend. Um, and the luxury market has to be, has still got to be sort of uh, careful about how it positions itself. Um, however, the, you know, the, we're seeing the UK's coming out of recession and, and performing well. The beauty of um, the global market as it is today <clears throat> is a luxury, the luxury brands can move towards countries that are um, still either performing well um, or emerging from, from uh, recessions quicker. So, so I think there's always opportunities for, for the luxury market to attract um, affluent customers. And as the population is getting older as well, um, there are more and more people who are in early retirement or retiring and who are, you know, by, um, by default, have got more time on, on their hands and therefore will kind of spend and look after themselves. Our objective is to help people live well through 65 days a year. So for us, really, it's expanding the range of um, brands and products that we have on our, on our website, from your luxury hotel spas um, to the resort spas, so like your life house, places where you will actually go with wellness in mind, to um, day spas, but also yoga, pilates, and fitness studios. So yoga, yoga is one of the fastest expand, um, new trends, you know, something like 30,000 classes a week or something in Britain. So. Um, I think that number's right, but it's, it's, uh, it's really expanding. So for us, really, it's expanding the range of activities and um, wellness, uh, sorry, wellness activities that one can do.